Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ghost of a Tale. I'm Paul of Thebes and I left you here in the last episode. And indeed I forgot to turn my game off. <laughs> Come back and it's still on an hour after. So, it was a good job I was in that barrel. Mm. Anything here? Did we check the barrel? Nothing of interest. Cages, nothing in them. For trapping rodents. Aha! Yeah, he definitely looks like a rat. It looks more rat-like than a frog. Anyway. I don't know why... I, oh, excellent slime jar. I don't know why I thought that... Uh, well, I'm going to eat candles, all right. I don't know why I thought that... Um, this guy was going to be a frog. Don't mind, I played this back in 2016. The early release. And... Uh, I haven't watched it since then. I suppose I was going to. I thought the game was coming out on the 15th. Do I have enough sticks? Yeah. I read some article somewhere that it was coming out on the uh, the 15th. And I says I was going to have a look into things before then. So On the 13th sometime I was looking around. And I found that it was coming out. And I was going like, today? No way. That was perfect timing. Doesn't he look well? Basically, don't hit him. That's what that means. <laughs> I found that out. <laughs> Trial and error. Ooh. More cheese. More grain. Draw. Apple. Slime jar. We'll take that as well. Fade card. So we'll take it. I don't think we're going to need it, are we? Slime jar. Looks kind of half empty, that one. Can't carry any more. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay. Bottle. Oh, we have enough bottles as well. What's that? Bottle rot. Good. We'll take it. Is this guy bre brewing it? <gasps> the oil jar. Fantastic. Oh, made of plastic. Oh. oh, it's not the full way. Nice. Hey, dude. Okay. Pocket thrust. That's a mask. Maybe he's not a rat at all. <laughs> Maybe he's just pretending to be one. What is this? This is a new banner. Can we burn this one? No. Would there be something on it? Wouldn't there? Okay. Should we talk to him? Anything else we missed? Okay, let's talk to him. Where have you been? I was expecting you hours ago. Hmm. Expecting me? Aye. The master told me you'd be here this morning. I was beginning to think the leeches had done for you. Anyhow, you're here now. Scrawny, aren't you? Soft paws, weak arms, but you have a full set of limbs. I suppose you'll do. Let's get to work. I promised the master that this next batch would be ready in time for the wallowing. Indeed, none can agree exactly what it. Is. Oh, hold on. It's up. An annual ritual held in the forest. When the rains have fallen in earnest and the ground is at its muddiest. For three days, creatures of all kinds and of questionable character come together to wallow, presumably. The exact nature of the events that take place at the wallowing remains a mystery. Indeed, none can agree exactly what it is that the wallowing is meant to celebrate or commemorate. Some say it represents death and rebirth, or the opportunity to bask in one's misery. Others believe it to be a ritual of unity, in which all creatures are rendered anonymous and equal by the mud. What is certain is that fewer creatures that went in ever emerged from the wallowing. 
What? That's kind of scary. And I, Faustus Rot, like to keep my word. You're Faustus Rot. Ah, you've heard of me. Did you call us the Banner Station? Who hasn't heard of the great Faustus Rot? Uh, excuse me? I was trying to save it. It wasn't my fault, the Baron. Who told you that? Should I say Silas the Signal Guard? Maybe not. Forgive me, I misspoke. I'm certain you did. Now, I have some matters to attend to elsewhere. So I'll need you to mind the still while I'm away. This is a critical stage in the process. If the pressure falls too low, the batch will be ruined. Any leaks in the part of the pipe must be repaired immediately. Be warned, the vapors are extremely noxious, so work quickly. Oh dear. I'll only be gone a few moments, so I can't imagine you'll have time to get into too much trouble. Oh yeah? Ha! <laughs> Back soon. Tend the still. Oh no! Plug all the s stills leaks. I don't even know where the still is. Wait, what do I plug it? Oh my goodness! It's poisonous! I'm trying to plug, I'm trying to plug. Gah, yeah, what's this? The apocryphus barges you aside and quickly brings the still under control. <laughs> the batch is almost ruined. Can I not trust you with even the simplest of tasks? I'm surrounded by incompetence. Um. What is it you're making here, sir? Rugag, a unique brew of my own creation. Rugag, sir, what's that? A potent form of rot gut, distilled from fungus, nature's most wondrous gift. I call it Rugag in memory of its of, of my first assistant. Ah, uh, his name was Rugag? No, no, he was the first to sample it. The name derives from his attempt to say the word Rotgut afterwards. I thought it a fitting tribute to his sacrifice. Mm -hmm. um, should I say that, sir? The jailer is dead, mur murdered? No more than he deserved. Eh. Uh, What else can I do for you, sir? I'll need you to gather samples of mycelium from the death's tongue mushroom. Seven should do it. Oh, I have five. Mycelium? Yes, the branching network of high fate that... Never mind. Just bring me seven death tongues mushrooms. Death tongue mushrooms? The purple-capped mushrooms that grow out there in the sewers. But I've no doubt seen a few on your way here. Mmm. Indigenous to the caverns and dark places that line the easternmost shore of Lake Velia, the Death's Tongue Mushroom is so named on account of its purple cap, said to resemble the lolling, swollen tongue of the victim of its poison. Yeah, the victims of its poison. Take this. And this. The apocryphus passes you a leather mask, much like his own. You'll need it to protect you from the miasma. Miasma? Will you keep me repeating everything I say? The miasma, the noxious spores given off by the death's tongue mushrooms. Now go. I have much to do. I have five. I need seven. Wow, there's an awful lot of leaks in that thing. I think it was rigged for me to fail. Let's have a look around this corner for... Ooh. Have we got a stool? 
Stool. Get a bucket. Get a bucket or a stool. Dude, you got a bucket or a stool? Oh. 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 Well, let's have a look around here first. I don't know. Why was that coming up? Something was coming up. Oh. Distillery key. Ah, merci beaucoup. Aha. Aha. Okay. Oh. No. What is in here? Nothing. How about here? Is the barrel is empty? There is the stool. Have a little look around before we go get <gasps> scary. Get the uh, <laughs> um, rest of the mushrooms. Oh yes, the elevator lever. I remember that. That's the fun bit. Didn't I? I go too fast with the stool in your hand, huh? With the roots coming down. This is lovely. Look at the dust on your feet. Ooh, ooh, plague doctor hat. Okay. Anything else that needs stool access? I beg your pardon. <laughs> uh, let's just um, let's go back this way. Door. Let's leave that open. Two ways. Hmm. Okay. Should I be looking around in here? Chest? Oh, you used the distillery key. Florence? <gasps> Ranger mask! Excellent. I have the, um, Zenith candles. It looks like a mushrooms. Excellent. Okay. Good, because I, I last time I kind of got lost out here. As to where I was, where I was. Have I still got the peg on my nose? I, I do. I could put the other thing on, though, couldn't I? Let's look at that key. The key is distillery. Nothing of interest. Clothes. Uh, we found the mask. The mask is fashioned from a tough strip of tanned salamander hide. We also have the plague doctor mask. The mask's snout is stuffed with rose petals, straw, and camphor, protecting for the wearer protection for the wearer against noxious vapors. And the note is nothing remarkable about the hood. Okay. Um let's stick the mask on. Should we stick the hood on? Why not? Let's have a look at us. Ooh, look at us. That's so cool. <laughs> Let's go in here. Oh, yeah. There's one. There's another one. Can we get it? Okay, we've got seven. Saves us having to go through the sewers. As far as I remember, we got every one that was in the sewer, anyway. Anywhere else we've missed in here? Let's, let's burn it. Oh, 
burn them all. Just setting off that other trap, just in case I ever need it. Or not need it, or need to run through here at any given moment. Now, where's my way back up? There. Okay. Wasn't there another door? Then, from then this way, I think. Let it down here. the age, aren't I? <laughs> Good to know. Anything in here? Nope. Okay. Let's go back. This is so cool. Excellent. Okay. Okay, let's save that. Put sticks in our bar. Just in case. And let's take a couple more candles. Now, let's go back to this guy with the... I think I have what I need. Uh, the mask fits you surprisingly well. It must have shrunk in the water. What? The water, sir? My former assistant was wearing it when he died. Hmm. Ah, I probably laid submerged there in the sewer for weeks. Yuck! Ah... Here, I have the death tongue. Will we ask him about that first? Just in case. You see, and what possible reason would I have to prepare this... You, this anti-venom. I forget what I was even talking about. It's only a few minutes ago. <laughs> if it's beyond your abilities, I understand. Beyond my... I studied physics at the University of Keem. And I will not... Keem. Also known as the Eternal City, Keem is a beacon of knowledge shining out across the whole of Pangaea and home of the prestigious eponymous university. It is said the books contained within the walls of the Great Library are so numerous they could form a staircase leading up to the heavens. It is also said the scholars of Keem are prone to hyperbole. Hmm, don't say... <sighs> you have a sample of the venom to work with, of course. I don't. Yes, I assumed as much. Check the traps that are laid about the sewers. You might be in luck. Oh, I never thought of that. You have a strange idea of luck, don't you think? <laughs> Do you want my help or not? Here, for the venom. The rat hands you a small glass vial. Bring the sample to me, I'll do the rest. Okay, well let's give him the other thing while we're here. Yes, what is it? You have the death tongues, Beetle. Not a complete fool, then. I suppose you'll want payment. I can't give you much, a few florins at most, but I have something far more valuable for you. Here. It hands you a worn leather cap with a curious red candle affixed to its crown. This should prove to be quite useful. What is it? Saltarian miners, miners hat. The candle wax is mixed with salt tar, so it will burn almost indefinitely. Um, uh, the ferrets of salt tar. It would be fair to say that the ferrets did not exactly enjoy a stellar reputation amongst the creatures of Pangea. Then, again... Uh, most ferrets would tell you they don't care. Did we read this before? 
Uh, the Solitarian Army, although prone to occasional bouts of disorganization, remains nevertheless a force to be reckoned with. Ferrets have an alternate uh, an effective monopoly on salt trading over Panja. I like the music! That's lovely music. Indeed, their mines and salt marshes are reputed to produce several varieties of salts, which they use at every opportunity throughout their daily life. Some say this has left them thirsty for violence. But mainly thirsty. I love it! <laughs> of course the vapors it emits are quite noxious. They may leave you feeling drained, so be careful. All right, that will be all. You can go, but I'll need you again once this batch is finished. Oh no. Yeah, let's just say, forgive me, but I should go. Um, let's get that. What did he ask for? Venom? Oh, I've been thinking of going back to him in the first place. We could have got Venom the first time. I should probably eat something so I can run longer. Oh, let's have a look at our hat. Where, where am I going? <laughs> a Solterian miner's hat. The candle's wax is mixed with salt tar, so it burns almost indefinitely. The vapor it emits are acrid and extremely noxious. Yummy. Empty vial. The glass vial sealed with a cork stop, given to you by the apothecary's Faust Rot. If you, I would have thought maybe going to the actual body of the um, spider would be the thing to do and not look on the traps. What do you think? I think you're kind of going out of the way, dude. Light up. Oh, I never saw that. That's cool. That's awful cool. Nice one. We need a source of light. So I think if I go over to the dead body now, that spider. Oh, yuck. Oh, that was disgusting. Take another candle where we are here. Did I get it? No, bad. Now, dude, let's do this again. What do you want, mouse? Here, I found a sample of venom. Excellent. Now, it will take a while to prepare the anti venom. I'll need, oh, three hours. One cannot rush these things after all. Uh, is there anything more I can do for you then? This keep, you must know it rather well by now, I imagine. While you're going about, I want you to find me samples of the fruity body of 12 different species of Basidomysota. <laughs> I think we may have what you're looking for. Or in terms of a simpleton, I mean a simple mouse, might understand mushrooms. Are they for eating? Eating? Do I look like a <laughs> mycophagist to you? <laughs> You're welcome to eat them, of course, as a last meal. These mushrooms are all extremely poisonous. Where can I find these mushrooms? Most prefer the shade. I often find good specimens in the woodland areas surrounding the keep. Look here. <gasps> the Apocalypse hands you a journal filled with sketches and notes. Ah, look at all that. I haven't got them all. I've divided the samples into... Oh, look at more. New quests. Oh my goodness. I've divided the samples into two categories. The smaller group is nocturnal. <sighs> Blooming only between the hours of seven and six. So make sure you take a lantern with you. Oh, between seven and six. So seven at night and six in the morning. Now hurry, the season's almost at an end. This is ridiculous, you're just giving me busy work. Such insolence. This quest is a sacred rite of passage all apprentices must endure. But I'm not your apprentice, I understand. You feel unworthy. A 
And you are, of course you are, but fear not. I shall guide you. Now go. Interesting. How mostly, what news have you of the outside world? Uh, I'm still searching for your fungus sample, so how goes it with the antidote? Did you not listen, Mouse? I ask that there be no interruptions. Come back later and you'll have your antidote. I'm still searching for mushrooms. You. Have you searched the pathway that leads down to the lake shore? No! You are sure to find a number of specimens there. Okay. Let's have a look at his book. This is the thing that he's been writing for so long. <laughs> we keep seeing every time a mushroom. On mushrooms. On mushrooms. A monograph by Faustus Rod. This is it. On mushrooms. A monograph by the renowned Apocalypse Faustus Rod. A number of blank pages suggest the work is incomplete. Oh, come on. Thought we were going to see more. Quest. Gearing up. Find an antidote. Okay. The antidote. Wait while the uh, antidote is prepared. He said three hours. It's now uh, one o'clock in the morning, we'll say. So by three, four, it should be ready. Here we go. The expert mycologist. Oh my goodness. Collect specimens of four different kinds of nocturnal mushroom for Faustus. Find a moonlight's veil. Four of six. Find a midnight brood. Zero of eight. Find the night rush two of four. Find the moon crest one of five. The amateur. Six of ten ear caps. Two of eight cat's tooth. Three of eight sponge ball. Three of six log loggerhead. With four of the weeping widow and four of the doggerel. Uh, and the nogging top. We've one more to get. And milky cap three more to get. That's loads. Sleeping thieves. Oh, we have one more cluster of eggs and we get... Okay. Well, what do we do? Really don't know. So much. So much to do. How do we get down to the lake shore? Hmm. We should probably look at more maps. But anyway, we'll leave it there for this episode. Join me in the next one. I'm going to hide in here. Just in case I forget to turn the machine off again. <laughs> Thanks for watching. All the best. Bye-bye.